Hello, this time, I will make a simple portal using the Niagara system. First create a Niagara system with a fountain emitter. First, change the SIM target to GPU to accommodate a large amount of particles, then set fixed bound. Next, set the life cycle mode to system in emitter state so that the particles disappear according to their lifetime and increase the number of particles in spawn rate. Particles fall under the influence of gravity force. Remove this and also remove the add velocity which gives it an upward motion. Next, set the shape primitive to torus in the shape location. Next, set the lifetime of the particle in initialized particle. Set the sprite size mode to random non-uniform and set the min and max values as shown in the video. When the particles are changed to a linear shape, the directions are all different. Set the alignment of the sprite renderer to velocity aligned so that the directions of the sprites are affected by velocity. Next, create a vortex velocity in particle spawn to rotate the particles in the form of a vortex. Then, create a scale sprite size to make the particles gradually increase in size and then decrease in size. Next, create two curl noise forces as shown in the video. And set different values for each to add curling noise to the torus form composed of particles. Next, Create a point attraction force to attract the inner part of the torus. For attraction strength, use a curve to make the pulling force stronger over time. And increase the value of attraction radius to increase the range affected by the attracting function. Next, set linear color and scale color and set curve in linear color so that the particle color changes naturally over time. Lastly, add a vortex force so that the particle can be sucked into a vortex while being pulled. When finished, save and return to the content drawer. Place the Niagara system we created on the level and test it.